morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm here to tell you about a business that started through an illness of Ivanhoe F. Irving, who had cancer. Through his illness, his birth, the song, Your Happy Birthday. Uh, it's a song that will never get old because as long as God gives us health and strength, one will celebrate their birthday. Uh, this is my father. He was 77 years old before he passed. And as I recall, even at the end of his illness, he still had the spirit, even though his body was failing him, to record the birthday song. Next slide, please. This is a tribute to a great man, Ivo F. Irving. It started out being a tribute to him, but ended up being a tribute to both my parents because my mother passed three months afterwards. But that peace. And we want all those to celebrate their birthday with Ivo and Friends. By supporting Ivo and Friends, we will donate 10% to the cancer research to kill this dreadful disease. So any contribution will help. Now I want to announce my next speaker, Katie. Hello, everybody. So far, Yo Happy Birthday has received great reviews. Locally, we have been interviewed on radio stations, both here and in Wilmington, KISS 102, um, Wilmington Surf Radio, and we have an article in Max Magazine of Daily News all with great reviews. Nationally, and WCTI, Channel 12 News. Nationally, we have been reviewed by President Bush and former President Clinton, both that said we were just wonderful and they wished us luck. On Good Morning America, we there was a segment, Amazing Family segment, and they also wished us luck. Internationally, in Germany, a Luga radio station with DJ Otik, who requested promos for Airplay in English already, and Roland Ludwig, a designer and producer of Roland Keyboards, and Crossover Magazine. Linear Reflections Magazine from Canada, all these gave us great reviews. The consensus from everybody locally, nationally, and internationally, was that they loved the music. It was very catchy, and everyone has a birthday. Everyone can dance to this music, whether you're five or 95. And the cause behind the music, the story, the tribute to the great Ivanhoe, everybody can feel the power behind that. The love for a father and the desire to kill a disease. I will be explaining to you why I feel that we should take this worldwide. First of all, everyone all over the world celebrates a birthday in some way, no matter where you're from or how you do it, whether it's Sweet 16 or King Sienna. The celebration of birth has been around since the beginning of time and it will be celebrated from the cradle to the grave. You may ask yourself why it's so important to take this worldwide. This song has already received great views from places such as Germany and Canada. Imagine the boost that sales would have if those who already are catching on to the English version could buy the CD in their own language. After all, like I stated earlier in the beginning, who doesn't have a birthday? Who doesn't know the birthday song? This version just puts an upbeat um, rhythm behind an old tradition. The most important thing to me, though, personally, is the greater cause behind all of this. Who doesn't know what cancer is? Who has not been affected in some way by this disease? Cancer is blind. It knows no race, color, sex or age, and a portion of this profit will, behind the CD will go to fund cancer research. Many of the musicians who are going to be helping with this idea are simply volunteering their time and energy for a good cause. The cost of production will be well worth the results in the end. The CD is a great way to bring the world together in a small way during these trying times. There is no culture in the world who in some way does not celebrate a birthday. There is no one immune to cancer, regardless of race, sex, or age, and as I previously stated, a portion of the profit from the CD will go to benefit cancer research. The CD is a new, upbeat version of an old age song. Translating, translating it to other languages 
with bringing the world closer together through song and celebration and through the most important thing, the quest to solve the problem behind this awful disease. The few ways to say happy birthday that we think would be marketable. Obviously, happy birthday in English is already done very well. Ho Oli La Hawano in Hawaiian. Bon Fit in French Canadian. Buon Cumpleaño in Italian. Feliz Cumpleaños in Spanish. Fortuna Dies Natalis in Latin. La Molta Anya in Romanian. You have to excuse me on this one. Alice Gutzu Get Birth Stag in German. Next, I'll be turning it over to Lena who will discuss marketing. I'm here to tell you how we're going to put the CD out there. Um, we're going to do this by using publicity. We are going to ride on the shirt tails of American Cancer Society. We could display our purchase, display the purchase, the birthday CD at the Walk for Life or maybe other functions that they have with the small fee of $6.99 that we set up. Um, the CD can be purchased through 1-800-BUY-MY-CD. Um, it's credit or debit only. They can ship that worldwide. And last but not least, the easiest and fastest way to put this CD out there for worldwide coverage is the internet. We have it on Amazon.com backslash Advantage Music, TowerRecords.com backslash Ivan Hall, CDBaby.com, Ivan Hall 2, and Boogsy at USA.net, which is Boogsy Productions' homepage. Any of these websites, for a small fee, there is a shipping, there is shipping that can go anywhere worldwide. With that amount of coverage, we can possibly go worldwide and see sales skyrocket. With that thought, I will turn you over to Teresa. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Bugsy Production is an up and coming, vibrant new company. As you have heard from, a, from my colleagues, we have many ideas and a vision of growth to reach not only the local population, but the international market. Earlier, Ivan described how and why this company was started. It started out of a personal tragedy, but it ended up being a special tribute to his father who had given him so much. Hard work and determination is what makes a company, but also money is a great part of it. Right now, it is my job to present to you one of the most important, but probably the most boring part of this presentation, money. Let's talk money. The overall production cost of Ivan Ho and Friends CD is as follows. The total cost of CD production is $1,500. Uh, $1.50 per CD, the selling through, the, uh, through Amazon will be a $3 fee, and the initial profit will be $2.50, and of course we'll be giving a percentage to the American Cancer Society and shipping and handling would be 50 cents, so our, our total project profit would be $2. Uh, there is great news for record sales in 2005. Also, the U.S. had a slow first half in 2002, mainly due to widespread piracy. According to Stereofile.com, CD sales have increased in the second half of 2003 by 6%. In 2004, it was a better year for the record industry. According to Nielsen Sound, CD sales increased by 9.2% in the first quarter that ended in March 31st, 2004. Americans bought 158 million units of CDs in 2004 compared to 144.7 million in 2003. Expert expect an increase in music sales mainly due to the crackdown on piracy in the global online music market, according to Rob Glazer, CEO of RealNetwork.com. Thank you for your time. <laughs> 